Okay, finally we're looking at Log Law 6. Don't worry, this is the last one we're going to cover. Uh, now Log Law 6 says that log uh, any base here, log 1 on A equals negative log A. Uh, now log 1 on A equals negative log A. Uh, I feel I feel a little silly teaching this law because if you've learnt log law 3 you shouldn't have too much trouble with it. Uh, just quickly I'll derive this formula so you can see why it works. Log uh, 1 on A. Now you can rewrite that as log A to the negative 1. Okay, some of us have had some trouble with that, but remember, if A is on the bottom, we can move it to the top by giving it a negative power, in this case, negative 1. And using our third log law, you can take that negative 1 and move it out the front. So we end up with negative 1 times log A. And negative 1 times log A, you can just rewrite as negative log A. So log law 6, uh, I'm, I'm conflicted here because I really don't think log law 6 is something you'll need to learn. It's handy to know, but if you've learnt log law 3 um, thoroughly, you should be able to immediately jump to log law 6 just using a little bit of algebra here.